We are actually um, using the fly, the Drosophila, uh, with its genetics to find uh, genes that are important for, for heart development and function in particular. And uh, in the course of that, we do screens for, for uh, mutant screens in, in which we identify then genes that are important. And so in this case, we identify the gene uh, that caused um, a sort of a restricted heart phenotype, and we found that interesting. So this was basically the starting point um, how we found this gene easily shot, which uh, codes for um, uh, a factor that is very important for, for uh, lipid metabolism, as it, as it turns out. So our approach was to, to find genes by w in which we can then build um, cardiomyopathy type models. And so in this case, this turned out to be an obesity-related heart dysfunction type of model that we could build in, in the fruit fly. Our case, what we found was in these easily shocked mutants, uh, SREBP is upregulated and therefore more fat is produced in these flies and they get fat, so they're genetically fat flies. And when we, as I, as I said, when we then looked at the uh, heart phenotype, we found that it has a, a, a very profound sort of constricted fast beating phenotype that is abnormal uh, in, 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 in normal wild type flies. And so this gene is actually very important in, in mammalian um, uh, uh, lipid metabolism. And this in mammals is controlled by, uh, by cholesterol. And so we ha sort of have a, a type of fly model for, for, this kite, uh, for this type of obesity that we can then link and, and delineate the entire pathways that is critical for, um, um, uh, for increased fat accumulation that then seems to be leading to, to cardiac dysfunction. And what we then have demonstrated in the fly is that we can manipulate uh, this um, genetic pathway, specifically in the heart, to then either aggravate or ameliorate the, 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 the heart defects that are caused by, by this uh, genetic obesity, in this genetic obesity model. And so which then told us that we could, what we can probably uh, think about in, in mammalian systems, including, uh, you know, human um, uh, diabetic human uh, related heart disease is that one can target specific organs like the heart and, and try to specifically ameliorate the effects in, in just the heart without uh, affecting the entire body. What is actually interesting is that the end product is then either high fat or low fat and we can counteract that in the heart specifically by um, either decreasing the, the genes that make fat or increasing the genes that break down fat. And we have found this also in another model, a, a diet-induced obesity model, we can do the same thing. So what we want to know now is, uh, or what we want to study now, what is common between these two systems that seem to be affecting then heart uh, function in, in, in a similar fashion. And one of the next steps we would like to see is what is it about the fat that is, that is then uh, causing this uh, cardiomyopathy? Is it the amount of fat that then uh, specifically impairs certain gene functions that are necessary for heart function? Or is it specific uh, fats in there that then interfere with, with uh, specific enzymatic functions in the heart that then leads to this kind of disease?